YouTube, welcome back. Good morning. So once Iraq starts these sessions of parliament approving the president, I will only do three videos for the remainder of this investment with you guys. Okay. Obviously, I will do a video for you guys on the president when they do the prime minister on a Saturday. Okay. Again, when they do the prime minister on a Saturday. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you, what you, what you talking about? What you talking about? Yeah, you heard that right. When they do the prime minister on a Saturday. I'll let you know. I'll do a second video then. And once the prime minister is approved on a Saturday, I will do my final video for you guys. Okay. And yes, they are doing the prime minister on a Saturday. Okay. Don't ask me how I know. If you want to know how I know how they're going to do the prime minister on a Saturday, join us on Patreon and I'll gladly tell you. Let's get into the day's news. In the process of writing the final report, the prime minister's selection committee is nearing completion. This article is just simply telling you that regarding the, the position of the prime minister, they're close to having that resolved. And they're nearing completion on it. And um, it says right here, the mini committee formed the coordination framework by choosing the new prime minister is approaching the end of its work during the next few period. Most likely will be the appointed individual most likely be announced this week. Okay. This article, the list of prime ministerial candidates, they'll have a decision on a prime ministerial candidate within 48 hours. So hopefully by Tuesday or Wednesday, they give us some details, but they need two days to have a meeting. And obviously the announcement of the appointed prime minister is contingent upon reaching an agreement from the Kurds with the president. Right there, okay, but but again, for the prime minister, they're telling you they need two, two days, 48 hours to, to finalize an agreement on a single candidate for prime minister. In blue in the middle or near the bottom, the coordination framework is awaiting the response of the Kurdish forces to put forward the name of a candidate for the position of the president of the republic. Otherwise, we will leave the option to the parliament's vote by submitting the names of candidates according to the 2018 scenario. So the so for the prime minister they need two more days to have a meeting, and obviously for them to announce a prime minister nominee to you is contingent upon the Kurds reaching an agreement on the president. The framework identifies three three personalities for the position of the prime minister. The selection is this week. So there's in this article they're telling you that they've from a total of 25 candidates for the position of prime minister they reduced it down to three. Assigning the prime minister should be this week. And this article is just listing the names of two of the potential nominees that they've chosen for prime minister right there. There's, there, there's the names highlighted in blue for you. And remember I told you in yesterday's video that they've had to rig the elections because they have to reinstate Kademi for a second term. And by rigging the elections, that's how they were able to hard schedule a rate change date that the formation of the government revolves around and is timed with. Okay, Right here, the head of the regional government is trying to persuade the government and the Ministry of Oil to disregard the implementation of the federal court's decision in exchange for his support, Kademi, for a second term. Told you so. Guys, Kademi will be reinstated two terms for prime minister. Look for him to be reinstated on a Saturday. Okay. The framework continues to sort through candidates for prime minister and the Kurds will meet within two days. So this article is telling you that the Kurds need the next two days to agree on a candidate for the presidency. So for both the prime minister and candidate positions, they need two more days right there while the Kurd Kurdish parties will meet during the next two days to choose their candidate for presidency. And this article is from today, the 24th. Okay, so both for both the prime minister and the president, they need two more days for each position to have and hold meetings to reach agreements on finalists. Okay. 
and hold on. Hold on one second. Let me change the screen view. Hold on one sec. This is there's one more article I just want to show you. I'm not showing you. You guys don't need to see all these articles. There's one just one more article I want to show you. So you already know they need two more days on the president, the prime minister. I already showed you how they're pretty much going to reinstate Kademi for a second term. Here you go. Here's the president. The presidential election session will be held next week. But again, this article was from yesterday, the 23rd from Saturday. So it says next week. So meaning this week that we're entering into, the coordination framework will support Baram Sela in the re in the reinstatement in Parliament. Okay, or reinstatement for president in Parliament. So as you see, they're talking about reinstating Baram Sela for president, and the previous one talked about reinstating Kademi for prime minister on a second term, which is exactly what they're going to do. And as far as reinstating the three presidencies, the president of Parliament, president of the country and the prime minister as far as them talking about that that's what they've stated that they're going to do for the longest period of time since they held the elections in october of last year so again we have three more videos remaining we have one when they do the president one when they do the prime minister and one final video after they do the prime minister on a saturday you guys are the best thank you guys for joining me take care and have a great day